All right, today we're going to be doing the butcher's yield analysis breakdown of a whole chicken. We're going to go in, we're, we've already done our eight-way, which yielded, we started out with a whole chicken, then we got our boneless breasts, we got our legs and our thighs, our French or our oriental wings, we've got our bones, and then we've got our usable scrap, and then we've got our unusable scrap. All right. And what we have here is we've put our weights in the appropriate column. We weighed our chicken, and it weighed 2.75 pounds. We weighed our boneless breasts. They weighed 0.82 pounds. Legs and thighs were 0.85. French wings were 0.2. The bones were 0.4. The usable scrap was 0.15. And then our unusable was 0.33. Now, if you notice in the cost column, right, we knew that our chicken was $1.21 a pound, right? We do not have a price for our boneless breast. That's what we're going to be solving for. And we also do not have a price for our unusable scrap. And that is by design. You are never going to have a price affixed to your unusable scrap because it doesn't have a value. What this usable scrap, this 0.33 does, is it's going to make all of the rest of these items more expensive because we don't have a value we can assign to that. All right, it just goes away, much like this a blue ink is going to disappear. And there goes our money along with it. So we've got to raise the prices on everything else in order to make up for our unusable scrap. That's why you really want to clean those carcasses good. Get everything off of there that you can because the smaller this number is, the better off you're going to be. All right. Before we get started, we want to think about the mathematical equations. So I'm going to put up here. Um, our basic order of operations, not order of operations, but just how you solve for anything. Let's go with A, right? This is B, and this is C in these columns. We know that if A times B equals C, then we can also go back and say, well, C divided by A or B would equal a or B. All right? That's a good way to try to remember how we're going to solve for this. All right. So let's get started. Uh, like we said, we know that we started off with a 2.75 pound bird and it is going to be $1.21 a pound. So what I want to do is go over to my calculator and I'm going to say uh, 2.75 times 1.21 equals, right? And the calculator gave me $3.32 and 75 hundredths. Well, I'm going to round this up, so I'm going to leave that over there, right? I do not have a value, once again, for my boneless breast. That's what we're solving for. So I'm going to skip down to the next one. I'm going to go to my leg and my thigh. And my leg and my thigh, they weigh 0.85. So I can take that times 1.05, and that's going to equal 89.25. That can't be right. So what I've done is I've not hit the zero. This calculator is a little on the funny side. Let's back this thing up. If you see something that looks screwy like that, take a step back. Take a look at it and say, okay, here's where I have made my mistake. Let's try this thing again. I can't go point because it doesn't know it. So I've got to go zero. 0.85 times 1.05, and that's going to give me a much better number, right? So what this tells me is this is my 89 cents that I'm looking for that has the value on my leg and my thigh. It's not on the breast. Let's move this over just a little bit. All right, next is going to be my French wing. All right, we're going to go in here at the 0.2 times 87 cents. So remembering that, we've got to go 0 0.2 times 0 0.87. And that's going to give me 17 cents. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this over here. Now I'm at my 0 0.4, 0 0.4 times 0 0.85 is going to give me 34 cents. I'm going to move that out. 
over here I could use this and then hopefully I don't have to do the 0 0.15 times 1 right to get the 15 cents but if you do there that is now I said we do not have a value here so we're not going to put anything in this column it doesn't have a value now we can kind of move this thing over here just a little bit let me get this out of the way and let's go in and let's write some of these right in here i'm going to round up now it's 3.3275 so over here i'm going to write three dollars and 33 cents and that's going to be the value of my whole chicken I still don't have anything for my boneless breast, so I'm going to go down to my uh, leg and thigh, and that is 0.8925, so I'm going to leave that at 0.89, and that is 89 cents. For my French wing, I'm at one, uh, 0.17, so I'm going to come in, and that is 17 cents. I've got 34 cents. On the value of my bones and I've got 15 cents on the value of my usable scrap all right now what I can do is in order to find this number I'm gonna take these numbers let me get rid of this right quick all right let's get rid of this and see if I can erase this nope that's not working let's go here go here and delete here and delete here and delete there we are we'll get these out of the way so we can see what we're doing all right now i'm going to come in here and what we want to do is we're going to take these items right here we're going to add them all together and that's going to give us a subtotal that will then subtract from this number which is our whole chicken price and ultimately, that's going to give us our boneless breast value. It's the total cost of that. We still won't know the price per pound. That's where we come up and we'll do our C divided by A will give us our B. And we can find our new price per pound. So let's start by going over to our calculator. We'll move this back a little bit. And let's put in our point. Oop, let's learn our lesson. Zero point. 8.9 plus 0 0.17 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.15 and hit an equals. And we've now got $1.55 up here is the value of our leg and thigh, our French wing, our bones, our usable scrap. And that is what we know as a subtotal. Right? And I can take our subtotal of usable byproduct and I can subtract it from our total price for the bird. Right? I've got $3.33. I'm going to minus $1.55, and ultimately, that is going to give me the value of my boneless breast. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to put in the value of my whole chicken, $3.33. I'm going to subtract $1.55, which was the value of everything except for the breast, and that is going to give me $1.55. 78 so i've got a dollar let's go back here i've got a dollar 78 is the value of my boneless breast knowing that i can go up to my um, multiplication and division equation up here because we took a times b gave me c knowing i have c now i can divide it by a which is over here and right there and that should give me B which is going to be right here and that's what we're trying to solve for so let's take our dollar seventy eight and divide it by point eight two which is the weight of our boneless breast I'm going to come in I'm going to hit divided by zero point eight two and that should give me 
two dollars and seventeen and a whole lot of numbers in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up to two dollars and seventeen cents and I'm going to put my two dollars and seventeen cents in here and now I have found my price per pound for my boneless breast right because if I've got a value of a dollar seventy eight and it's less than a pound then this number is always going to be more than this number right here and that's one way I can check it if I want to run it back the other way I can clear this and I can say 0 0.82 times 2.17 equals a dollar seventy seven and change which is a dollar seventy eight and now I have found the value of my boneless breast price per pound I know the value of everything else and now I can go ahead and price this out accordingly on my menu the one thing that that does leave us is now we have to go in we've got to find our ratios and that's what the part of the whole right I've got to find out what the breast is ratio of the whole chicken and that's going to help me when I get ready to order so what I want to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this number my 0.82 I'm going to divide it by 2.75 and that's going to give me the ratio you always divide the part by the whole and it gives you the ratio all right so let's click on this I'm going to clear this and I'm going to go in and go 0 0.82 divided by 2.75 equals all right I'm going to pull this out because my word that's a big number 0 0.2981 so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to write 30 percent right in here because right, we're going to round up just a little bit on that one. Right now I'm going to go 0 0.85 divided by 2.75 equals, once again, I'm at a very large number because of this calculator. Right, So I'm going to round up, that's a 0 0.309, so I'm going to round up to 31%. Right? I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go 31%. Right now, I'm going to click on these and get rid of them. All right, click on these and get rid of them. All right now, I'm going to come in and I'm going to go 0 0.2 divided by 2.75 is going to equal 002%. So I have actually, that can't be right, because I've got looking at this and I put 0.2. Right, and maybe I should go 0 0.2, right, divided by 2.75 equals 0 0.07. Right, that looks a little bit better, 7%. So I'm going to round that up to 7%. Get rid of this. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put 0 0.07. 0 0.07. Now I'm back at... 0 0.4 divided by 2.75 equals, right, I've got 14% or 15%. Let's go with 15%. Right, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to write 15%. Right, I'm going to clear. Clear that. Now I'm getting back to... 0 0.15 divided by 2.75 equals, and I've got a 0.5%. I'm going to round down on this one. Point zero. Let's go there. 5. Right now, I've got to figure out what's going on with my unusable scrap. And let's go clear. There. There. All right. So I'm at point or zero point three three divided by two point seven five equals twelve percent. So I can come up here and I can go twelve percent. 
12 percent now before i stop that i'm going to go in and i'm going to check all this and make sure that it adds up so i'm going to say 12 percent plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.31 plus 0 0.30 equals 100 percent so now my ratios add up and why that's important is because i need to know that if i'm breaking down a whole chicken right and I've got 100% of a whole chicken. Well, about 30% of it is going to be my boneless breast. About 30% of that is going to be my legs and thighs. I'm going to have a little less than 10% be the weight of my chicken wings. I'm going to have a little bit more be the weight of my bones at 15%. And then you're going to hopefully only have about 5%. But I don't want to be satisfied with 12% of usable scrap. I want to try to get this closer to being the 5% or the 0.5% and get this more up here. If I did that, if I took this off and changed that, then now I'm looking at a, you know, take that down to 5. That's 7. 7 and 5 is 12. This is going to change this to 12% up here. And now I've got more money that I can use over here to make this price lower which ultimately is going to make this price lower and that basically is butcher's yield hopefully this helps and if you have any problems be sure to see me this is chef burrows hope you're having a great day